Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline. So, we are going to rescue an archaeologist from the Society of Leopold, a secret society of vampire hunters. But, before we do that, there are two things that we need. Well, there's three things, but one of the things leads to one of the other two things. So, in essence, there are two things we need. Blood and ammo. The other thing we need is money. Money will lead to ammo. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm heading into confession. Yes, back in here to get our 250, assuming that's what we get. And if we get 250, we will then have 750 at the very least. And then we can head back out there again. So, hey, I want my money. Money, right? Been a while. Yep. 500. Woo. Hey. There you are. I was beginning. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I need. Right. Get some blood. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. Right. I'll leave you there. Right. Back out of this area. And we can get the rest of the blood with Heather, who is back in our haven. Right. I beg your pardon. Also, um, her story seems to progress as we speak to her, and it seems to happen after main story quests, so I wonder if she's got any more you know, story or whether like we've reached the end of it, basically, for her. I don't know. We'll see. Anything in our mailbox? No? Okay. Didn't think there would be. Also, we can check her email while we're here. The most, um, you know, vampire of tasks. Check your email. Then, you know, go, go buy some ammo. Vampire things. There we go. Ah. Uh. And again, the she is not upstairs, which means she's in the bathroom. Right. Hello. Again. Master? Uh, see ya. Guess she doesn't have any more blood. Oh, that's kind of disappointing, isn't it? Must have been uh, too close together in terms of talking to her. Email. The muse is muse. Oh. I do hope the nights have been kind. You were on my mind tonight, and I must admit it was inspiring. I wrote this for you. Death cannot smother love. Dead hearts are not always broken. Plant a kiss on my corpse. Love blossoms. Did you love it, Vivi? The campaign. The success of a campaign is weighed by the commitment of your opponent. Well, that's weird. Right. Uh, now, there is another way to get blood here, and I don't know whether it ca carries any consequences, but, you know, that's why I'm saving. I also never found the, um, the magazine that guy asked for. Oh, I should visit Pisha again as well. Of course. Those are our only quests. Wow, we must be near the end. Hey. Right. Now you can be polite and ask, or you can just take the blood. Thank you. I'll see you later. Right. Uh, down here. Um, back to the ground floor. Three, two... I don't know why this takes so long. I mean, this is... I think this is physically moving through the level. But, like... Normally, if an elevator stays a long time, I think it's a loading screen, but... There's a bit where you can you can go manually up there, so there can't be a loading screen. It's very weird. Anyway, we got a special item from Pisha, so definitely gonna check it out and see what she has to say about it. This way quicker to her? It might be. Yeah, we already have a knife, and we don't really, really even need it. How much money do we have? Oh, one thousand. We could go and buy the katana. I mean, I'm tempted because it's a katana. I might go and buy the katana. I really didn't take much convincing, did I? Just that there is a katana and I can have it. That's really all I needed. Right. So in here. Downstairs. I have noticed as the game's gone on, I was just remembering this section. The game has got a lot less creepy as the game's gone on. Like, there's more, there's a lot of stealth sections, but you're not really scared of very much as the game goes on. Hey. Yes. Um, well... I got the book. The Voce del Morte. 
The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? Never mind, just give me what you promised. It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. What do you mean? In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. I see. I'll take that into consideration. Goodbye. So, the amulet that she's given us. The key of amulet. And gives it, it's, uh, increases all soak ratings by one. Hmm, cool. But yeah, as I was saying, the game's got a little less creepy. It's definitely, um, I guess that makes sense though. When you started out, you're, you're like a new vampire. There's all these new things, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of new stuff and it's, it's meant to kind of weird you out. But as you go on through the game, you've, you've kind of, you've been part of the world for a while. You're understanding what's going on and things just seem less less crazy. Maybe that's how they're meaning it to be. I don't know. I, I do hope that the new game keeps that kind of, that, that level of creepiness up a little bit. And it doesn't go purely for the vampire power fantasy, because I think that's where this one really shines, is all of the, uh, you know. My man! The, what is up? I'm trying to think, like, like the supernatural stuff. Anyway. Hey, uh, doing by. some shopping. Let's see what we got here. We got anything else that it can sell? Hey, hey, don't walk nope. By. I look like DIY Warwick. Uh, we could oh, buy some more of those. This this week only. Yeah. Let's buy these. Yeah. That's really all we need from him, hey, hey, I think. I like the rest Warwick. were the rest were good for. Let me just reload so we don't need to reload later. Although this one doesn't take very long to reload. Which I think might make it, the reason it's my favourite one is it just takes like 10 seconds to go reload. Uh, anyway, uh, hey, what's up? Need a ride? Yeah. Uh, take me to Chinatown. I need to buy a very large katana. Because we didn't get one from the person who was just straight out of an anime. So, yes. And he's going to be very loud. Just a warning here. Welcome back! Yeah. Uh, I would like your... Ooh. But Katan... But, mmm. Ooh. Okay. These are both good. But I cannot afford both of them. What's a... Oh, a conundrum. What am I gonna do? I mean, I could sell a blood pack, and that would get allow me to afford both of these. I think I do that. Inventory fool cannot buy. Wow. Wait, does that mean my inventory's full, or does that mean my melee weapon inventory's full? Welcome back! You know what I could do? Is I could sell a melee weapon. Like the baton. Or the knife. Given I know where there's more knives. Um. I don't know. Let's sell the knife. I don't use the knife. Can't sell my fists. Okay, we'll sell the baton as well. Thank you. Um, I hope that you won't mind me taking out weapons in here, given that, you know, it's a weapon shop. Love it. Love it. Okay, and the other one. Love it. 
Love it. Love it. Right. So is there any reason to you... I guess I have to go to I to do this, the comparisons. Yeah, so... What's the difference? One is skill level you need. This one has a... You need a lot higher melee skill to use the... Alright, to use the other one. So what's our melee skill right now? It's three, six, okay. So right now, using one of these, I'm going to have issues. But if I was to use blood buff, that would push that up by three. So I'd be able to use a nine. So I'd be able to use a normal one success. Like, as in, I'd be able to use the katana successfully. If I boost my melee by one, I can use both of them. With blood buff. That's cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I could also increase... If I increase strength by one, that uh, would allow me to use the melee one all the time. As in, not the melee one, the katana one all the time. But, yeah. We'll, we'll work on that. I think that's our next goal. Anyway. Up in. Yeah, let's go. I want to go to the Society of Leopold. Let's see. You know what? This is a save opportunity. I think. Definitely a save opportunity. Just double checking. That's our only quest, right? That, yes, literally our only quest. Okay. Don't see any enemies right now. Please. You know what? I do want to try stealth, so if we just uh, reload that one, given that immediately got spotted. So we can go about that far and then start crouching. We're good. Right. There's a bunch over there if you just run. No one. I think he bought it. We might be screwed. All right. Well, definitely a quick save needed. Is there any reason to walk past him? No. No reason that we need past him. Holy moly, they're all over the place. So I could try just sneaking directly forward. They're gonna go into their light though. If I wanna sneak, I have to go the left path, I think. Unless there's another path earlier than this. I don't think there is though, but I'll check back here. Nah, it doesn't look like there's an earlier path. Okay. So left is our only option, I think. As much as I hate it. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, Soldier. Anything to report? The Gladius Day has told us to keep a sharp eye. He thinks we may have some visitors this evening. Of course, sir. My duty, as always, is to protect the Brotherhood. All seems quiet for now. Good, good. Did he mention uh, what kind of visitor? Mm. Good, sir. The only kind that matters, soldier. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Carry on. No one? Ooh, okay. We're in. A 
I thought that was a way in. Lovely. Well, we'll just chalk that one up to bad luck. Ooh, ooh, we can go around this way. Now, it definitely implies that going down here should give you some sort of sneaky way in, right? I almost feel like there should be a loaded way in there. Like, if you come in here, it should lead to a loading screen or something. It just doesn't. A little weird. Maybe that's a way out later? That's my new theory. This is a way out later. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong, but that doesn't seem like there's any way in that way. Or maybe it's just a red herring. Definitely do a little quick save before I start going up ridges. Especially if I have to do little bunny hops. The front door is obviously right out, but maybe there's somewhere around here that we can sneak to. Also, the fact that they know there's an attack, that kind of makes me think that maybe there's an insider. You know, like somebody's working against us. Although that could just be like an, in an insider for whatever. As far as we know, that's like an insider for the Anarchs or something. Has like an, an Anarch person, has an insider in the Camarilla who then lets, you know, these guys know just to mess up the Camarilla. Not necessarily that these guys have an insider. Although they wouldn't have an insider because if they had an insider, that would mean they have a vampire as part of their order. Society. Sorry, they're not an order, they're a society. I'm sure at some point someone smarter than me could come up with one of these uh, we are in a society jokes, but you know, whatever. Uh, we live in a society, is that it? There's some sort of meme going on there. One down. Just another million to go. Need to remember, this isn't Hitman. I am allowed to kill anyone I like. I got this Hitman thing where it's like, no, you just have to get through to the end person. I think that's our door. That's our door right down there. Do I need to kill him? Or are we good? I think we're good. Come on. Be low lock picking. It's only lock picking level 5. It's a main quest. I forgot. Games like this have main quests give you much lower requirements than side quests because you have to do the main quest. Ooh. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children, that I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of faith, and that my victories are many and my wounds few. That I might further your kingdom here. And if I meet death tonight, then let it be first that I cast a mighty host of demons back into the lake of fire whence they came, and then rest finally in the light of your glory. Okay. Quick save. Well, I gotta try and kill him, don't I? Ooh. 
Okay. One down. Do a little quick save. Peek round the corner. Okay, so when he turns round, kablam! Also, they keep getting hit with the explosives. I love it. That's fine. Wait, given the I changed the heat signatures, does that mean I can just walk through these? It might. You know what I want to see, actually? I want to see the Katana kill animation. That's <laughs> so good! Alright, well, you know, let's not use the katana kill animation anymore. Ooh. Okay, so that box is a box of explosives. Good to know. That wasn't what I meant to do. That time... Should have known better. It's because it wasn't giving me the option and I completely forgot that swinging will kill me. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? It's just because it's hard to find the right angle to hit him in the back. Okay, I'm just stupid. Don't, 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 don't worry about me. Just stupid. Let's go for all specs. Right, that's fine. Oh wow, there's a lot all over the place. Oh, they know when I use powers. Oh damn. Uh. Whoa, 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 switch to two, switch to two, switch to two. Don't reload, you stupid thing. Press the wrong button. Oh. Ow. Well, they're all aware of me now. Alright, that'll do it. <gasps> A new gun? I cannot hold any new guns. I have too many guns. Oh no! I think that means I have too many guns. Let me just try something. There's something I can drop, like this, uh... I don't know. But this Nosferatu photo, right? I, I don't have any attachment to it. Nope, it's a gun. Which gun am I getting rid of? Well, I mean, it has to be this one, right? There's no other gun to get rid of. It's just trash, so... Sorry. But now we have a... We have an AUG. Yep. Yeah, this, this looks... Fine. I would say. I like leaving the Nosferatu photo there, actually, just in the base of people hunting kindred. Just leave a photo of the kindred. Nice. There's so much ammo for it now as well. Well, there's 30 ammo for it. That's still quite a lot. Let me just test the theory, right? Because I changed what the thing was. I've quick saved. If I do it at this side as well, this won't be too bad. All right, so I only changed it for that one specific one. Okay, it was worth doing it because that now I know. Okay. <laughs> Why would I save it? Wait, what did I do? Oh no, elapsed time? No, time start up. This one? Oh dear.
Why would I save it right next to the wire? That has to be the most stupid place to save it I could imagine. Oh, we got ammo for the uh, Jamie Sue. Nice. Okay. So. Uh, don't use powers, because they'll know I'm here. Let's put that away for just now. I don't even think I want to make it my two. Useful to know that that's there if we need to do stealth. They heard me. When I stood up. Journal. Okay. This journal is inscribed with the initials GB. We have tracked LeCroy to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of Ventru Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legions of demons by cover of night. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LeCroix I fear, but nor his underlings. There is fear in my heart nonetheless. I am an, an, an ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning, and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle of some hellspawn. Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Grout. We've been unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ancaran sarcophagus and the massacre on Elizabeth Dane have, have my suspicions troubled. I have been told to expect a passage in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its, secret, or its arrival seems convenient in light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are in play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. That makes it sound like, yeah, there is an insider. We'll finally fi we finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a young vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt one of his uh, sucklings came to visit uh, its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed that house. Thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. It seems great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of a croy was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn whether by my hand or the father's. The Ancaran sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it, and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I now know that these, ver these may very well be the end times, and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us. I dreamed of LaCroix last night. His hideous visage burned to ash in, great inf in a great inferno. May it be that this is a vision given to me by God and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Krikler reported a disturbance at the vampire coven we have been observing in a mansion in Ho Hollywood. It seems there was a party and that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. You could say no more on the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until this world is rid of their evil. I dreamed of the fire in Griffiths Park last evening. I know not their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart and will fight for righteousness until I'm no longer able. I took a Johansson, a Johansson from his hotel room last evening and brought him back here to the monastery. I'm convinced that LaCroix will try to find him as he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these dark days. May the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. Amen. Okay. I can't use... I would normally use all specs right now, but obviously that's not going to lead to good things. Let's quietly go in here. So if I change uh, heat... Sig. It's SOC, right? Yeah. Uh, to human. And then quit. These don't hurt me. Nice. Okay. Good to know. Wait, that's the front door. I think. No, that's the front door. Oh no, oh no, oh no, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. They didn't see a thing. Okay. Whew. Almost went very badly. What's this door then? This leads upstairs. I think that is a door into the building. 
Unless I'm wrong. Uh, what's my XP like? Mm, lot picking. I can get to nine. Maybe. No, I can't get to nine. Because I don't have the decks. Yeah, no matter what I do, I can't get it to nine. So I might as well just hang on. One of us should take some food down to the prison. Yo, Hanson? He is no better than they. If not for his meddlesome digging. Okay. Down the to the prisoner, he said. Heard. So that must be the door. Yes, okay, so he must be in that door down there. An interesting turn of events. Do you think it holds something? I care not. If it does, then with God's help, we will send it screaming back to hell. Brother Klieger says it may be uh, him, the son of Adam, the brother killer. Hmm. If this be the end of days, then may the Lord give us strength to see them through. So, shall we take some food down to Johansson? Here. Yeah. Take mine. I am no longer hungry. Who's there? Who's there? No one? Going to need some backup. What the hell? They can't see me? Suspect's lost. Are you kidding me? I'm that good? <laughs> they can't see me. Oi, the light. I just realized who the vampire hunters remind me of. It's Duncan McLeod. You know, from the Highlander TV series. As, that is 100% who he reminds me of. That is brilliant. Okay. Right. Oh, I also got some more stuff in there. I got vampire uh, apocryphy. Apocrypha? Uh, unidentified sarcophagus uh, discovered by Julius of Gaul, 1068 AD near Ankara Ottoman Empire. The origin of this dark, mysterious talisman is largely unknown and is mostly considered a myth, if not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who, discover, who first discovered, then subsequently re-entombed the artifact. There would be no historical record of the artifact save for various unfound legends of its evilness scattered throughout the, right, uh, throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians uh, alike have been unable to ascertain the, its exact age or place of origin, although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from an area of ancient Sumer or Mesopotamia. Sumer? 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 Anyway, it has never been opened, and therefore any myths pertaining to uh, who or what might have encased it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king whose name as so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Gaul describe the artifact as a nefarious and dread thing full of ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Oh dear. Um, did we not pick up another thing Well, in there? I thought we picked up, like, another book somewhere. No, maybe not. Okay. Uh, I can't remember where I thought I picked up the other book. It might have been ages ago. Anyway. It might be in the Giovanni Mansion. Okay. I didn't even realize there were people down here. Ooh, no, 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 no. Where are you going, mister? Who's there? No one. Most efficient killer? Uh, I didn't bring out anything. The, uh... That's one of these. That's it. There we go. Melee weapon. Katana. Set. 
Good. Now we can peek. Who's there? Hmm. It's okay. We're good. Oh, I see, I see. Well, look, quick save, put it away. You can't hide from me. Sure, I can. I already am. Right. So this must be where the prisoner is being kept, down here. Either that or this is the other way in. But I think it's where the prisoner is being kept, and the way out. Let's have a look. Well, creepy, Germanic sounding music. Oh no, this is, uh, this is not good. Okay. I need to get there. It's by two. There's one there, one there. Okay, I can take out this guy by dropping behind him, snapping his neck. This guy is more difficult. I'm assuming he's going to turn around soon. Yeah. So he sits there for a very long time, implying you're meant to kill him while he's facing that direction. Alright, well, it's danger time now. Ooh. He turned back around again, huh? I want him to walk over there. Yeah, good. It appears you are quite alone here now. Ha ha ha. Don't turn around. We've gone a long way from failing the tutorial in stealth. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. Let's keep going. Hmm? Thought I heard something. I think we're probably actually clear all the way down here, but I don't want to un-stealth. We could probably have shot our way through here just as easily as well, but maybe more enemies will spawn if you get spotted. I don't know what those lights are. Oh, they're lights, I see. There's a couple down there. Where's this way go? Water. Okay. So, I have to find water and then I can get in there, which must mean the water is in this direction. I understand the game. Okay. Let's see. There's two in there. 
I want to stay out of the light as much as possible. I mean, that's... Some say he saw his own mother eaten alive by a coven of witches, and others that he once killed an elder vampire with his bare hands. There are even whispers that he is the resurrected Saint Leopold, come to lead his armies into the final battle against the armies of darkness. <laughs> Not all stories you hear are true. Brother Grunfeld is a good soldier just as you will become if you have faith in God and the discipline to stand in his army. It is also said that he once killed a man of the brotherhood Work it. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Just perfection. Um, and I'll but notice the gate is shut. That doesn't seem like perfection to me. It also doesn't seem like that's the way we need to go. Oops. Is there another way in here? Another tunnel or something? There we go. That's the other way in. And we are going. We are trapped in the scenery. Okay. Well, can't say I'm not a little mad about that, but there we go. This is pretty good. As a sa as saves go, this is pretty good. Right. This staying very far away from the edges. Nice. So this is the other way in. And I'm in. Okay. Quick save. Save again. Nobody in those cages, so they're not where I need to go. Oh, unless there's that one. That one's got a lock on it that we can see. So, quick save again. That's where I need to get to. It was Professor Leopold. Let's see if there's another way around here. Don't think there's a way up that way. Unless we can climb that and jump over. Well, you know. Not against trying, you know. Definitely quick save here before I try the uh, dolphin. Okay. I need something to chuck behind them, really. Does he turn around ever? That's my question. Let's just watch him. 
I'll go for a couple side kills. Da, da, da. Can I knock that off and then I'll distract them? No. I mean, he's bad, but there's no way he's that bad. On the other hand, maybe he's atrocious. You see what happened to him there? He's not allowed to be in the water, so it flung him back out. That is glorious. Okay. We would have been just as good coming in that direction, to be honest with you, but... You know, going through the water was fun. Hey. Yo, Hanson. What's up? No more, no more, no more, no more f fire. No fire. Ash? This is Ash. I was thinking it looked like Ash, but really? Ash? You. It ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Keep your voice down. I wouldn't talk so they burnt me. Again. And again. And again. Their eyes. They, they enjoyed it. Before they come back. I'm begging you. Let me out. I'll look for a way out, Ash. But I've got something that might heal up a few of those wounds. I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than any of them. <sighs> okay. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back. This is going to be difficult. Mm. I need another lot picking skill. This also a 10? Also a 10. Well, this has turned into... Turned from getting your Johansson to getting Ash. Okay. Well. It needs to be done, doesn't it? So, back into the first place we're in. I'm assuming the key's gotta be along there somewhere. Hmm. Maybe one of them has like, a master key? That's the goal, isn't it? That's the hope. Hmm. Hmm. So if I was to put a key somewhere, it'd have to be along the left, right? Like up in that built in that pier. That's where I would put the key if I was them. They got two walking that way. Okay. We're we're stealthy here, so let's see where they go. Do I need to go all the way around? I guess Johansson's that direction. This might fail miserably. Fine. Hmm. We can get the guy on the pier easy. That's the way out. This boat. Okay. There was no house in the pier, by the way. Thought there was, but there wasn't. It's just that. Okay, I might have to go in further. Hmm. Let's go in further and see what we can find. I'm not leaving here without Ash. But right now I don't have a way to save him. We gotta keep going. Back into the darkness a little bit. There we go. He's gonna turn, and then we go behind these boxes. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. 
At least each one that we kill is another one we don't have to dodge past. Ooh. We'll have all... Oh, I already got all the ammo for that. This is shotgun, I think. Don't need to worry about that. Too much. They trade off there. One goes all the way up. Well, this is dark here. They should be good to walk right up to that box. Hopefully. Like, he shouldn't see me here. I think. Who's there? What the hell? We're such masters of stealth. Who's there? Music Who's there? stopped. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Hmm. Who's there? Hmm. Who's there? Hmm. No one? Who's there? No one. Turn back about your business. Wasn't real didn't realize we were Jedi's as well as vampires. Okay. In we go. If I get experience from saving Johansson, before we leave we can save Ash. That's another plan. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Well. We're about to head in. I guess we needed a better plan for saving Ash, or maybe Ash always gets caught there? I don't know. I can't help but feel this is a boss room. Oh yeah, this is a boss room. Well. Or it's a boss area. We can't save Ash right now. We just gotta go. Oh no, I've got my fists out. Against the sniper rifle. You missed. I knew Johansson would lure the servant to Satan, but I set this trap for the Archfiend himself. Where is Lacroix? Um, you think Lacroix would come here alone? Perhaps when Lacroix runs out of minions, he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it. Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? Hmm. Um. Nope. Let's do this. I saw another one back there, didn't I? No. It did, yeah. No, it's a vampire. Three, two, one. That's fine. Hell did he just do? Where is he? Oh, he's back down there again. All right, well, I need a better shot then. 
Okay, 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 okay. Three, two, one. Not single pump, full auto, please. Where'd he go? Where is he? Need another shot so I can have a idea of where he is. I need another. Oh, oh now I see him. Oh, don't be trapped. Alright, back to single pump. Actually, you know what? Back to this thing. I'm looking for the accuracy here. That's good. Move. Move. I'm too close to you. Move. That's what I was after. Alright, spotted him. We're good. Three, two, one. Boom. Okay, this is going well. Let's use all specs and then... Zero. Okay, so that's saying after you hit him once, it won't let you hit him again or something like that. Until you get close enough. Yeah, it stops you um, from spamming on them. That's fine. Don't want you up the stairs. Come back down. I see him. Good. I got my shot in on him. That's annoying. But not inconceivable that we can survive this. Is he? He's in the center, okay. I think we found a good spot. He shoots. Okay, you can't get multiple shots in on him in a row. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even worth shooting the second shot. That was really bad. We missed so many shots. Okay. Okay. Let, let's just regen for a second or two here. That's fine. That's still a zero. I was too quick. Let's regen a little bit more. Another one. Yeah, okay. It stopped us doing damage to him. Now I need to just regen. That's fine. Yeah, he's he's got the invincibility mode on. It's cheating. I really hate where you get trapped on bits of scenery. Okay. A little bit more heal. Okay, a few more points. Just to the point where we're safe. I think we're good. Nope. I'm gonna take him a few shots to get through here. Okay. 
Got got a shot in on him. Nice. He's dead. There's no fanfare. He's just dead. <sighs> I thought it was a head. Oh, here's something we can chuck though. At high velocity. We get no XP for that. Nope. Okay. Well. Must be where he wrote his journals. I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go. Dr. Johansson? I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. I'm here to help you, Dr. Johansson. Why are they doing this? What is this nonsense with the guns and the crosses and the talk of vampires? Why do they insist on keeping me here? Who are these people? Hmm. Um, bunch of militia nut jobs. Answer my questions, I'll get you out. Yeah, yeah, okay, anything, just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> Tell me what you know about the Ancaran sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Um... Well, I dealt with them. They won't give us any problems. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you will help me escape. Sure. All right. Where should I begin? What can you tell me about it? Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Yes, but please uh, elaborate. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But I... Uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Oh, please continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Messarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like a Dracula or something. So? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserat could remain in, uh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Hmm. Are you sure? Men educated, guess. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. Hmm. Um, you compared him to a vampire. Any reason? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth. 
And? And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. Hmm, so Meserac drank human blood. Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. Hmm. Um... Do you really believe Meseract is inside the sarcophagus? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. Okay. What else do you know about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. How did you find that in Karn's sarcophagus? Uh, that is, you see... In archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. I'm interested. Please go on. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Hmm. Sounds like you're hiding something. Care to share? I don't know what would make you believe that. I have been very forthcoming with you so far. I <laughs> think that maybe you are not as familiar with the process as me. So, then, how does the sarcophagus open? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. A key, of course. Do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus, even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you have a copy of the key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Um... All right, I'll free you. There's a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. Okay, so he's going to run off. That's fine. Did we get a We got no experience. Well, that's very annoying. So we really, really need the experience. Can I just all specs that door? No. Okay. <gasps> Oh, hello. My judgment is here. All right, well, sorry, Ash. Um, would love to save you. Don't have the experience, uh, and quite honestly, don't have the time anymore. I'll see you later. Right. Whoop. Over the top. Well. Let's just not tell Isaac about this. Right.
Uh, yes, I'm running. I'm assuming everyone else has got out of here. No, but that's okay. Dolphin. Go way out of here. No, 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 don't get stuck. What do you mean this? Oh, that was the way out. Good. I just need to hit the right angle on it. I think we're out. I think we're good. We're good. Right. Ooh. Huh. Ooh. Uh. Good evening to you. Good evening to you. Um, what's all this then? Looks like a meteor has hit us. But that can't be right, because that's insane. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and next time we're going to open the Ankaran... Well, we don't have the key yet, but we're going to get the key to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. I'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>